Assalamu alaikum. This video is uh, about uh, PHP and MySQL. It's basically, uh, I would like to show you how you can create uh, uh, database and database tables and also use uh, some SQL statements um, using P PHP. So um, I would like to basically show you uh, how to create database, how to create table in the database and how to insert one row in the database and also how to upload data stored in a text file or a data file in a table and how to update a database. All this using PHP uh, programming code. So for each one of these uh, tasks I would like to create a file with a name and then execute it uh, in in the browser. So first, we'll start like this. Um, after you have installed the package, exam package, in which uh, we have the web server, Apache web server and MySQL, then you have to start the control panel. So double click to start the control panel if it is not already started. The control panel has already here started. Um, here it is and both servers are running as you could see here Apache and MySQL if you'd like to test them you can test them by uh, using the uh, localhost uh, index dot php and that uh, shows you that this um, uh, this server is running you can also use the loop back address this one which is uh, 127 dot uh, 0 dot 0 dot 1 and slash index dot php also it works the same way so after you have uh, made sure that uh, the server is uh, is working and now you can start creating your uh, uh, your files. So the first one I'm going to start with creating um, a database. All right, create a database using MySQL. So in uh, this folder, um, htdocs, um, I would like to create a folder. Call call it uh, dealer shop dealer shop okay so that uh, when i try to execute files in this dealer shop i'm gonna put here dealer shop and then slash because this is the folder where the files are going to be stored dealer shop and then the files so if i have index for example dot php then i can execute it from here so for example uh, i would like to test the connection for this uh, for this file I have a file here let me uh, copy it here in the uh, in the dealer shop only one file here called con con those PHP this is a PHP file so let me see what is inside this is a PHP file is uh, linking or it has um, connection string to the server using my SQL connect with the local host uh, and then root is a username without any password uh, this is a testing condition saying if this one does not connect that means if not um, dollar link that means if this uh, um, connection string stored in the in this variable is not working then give me this error message die could not connect otherwise if it is connecting successfully then tell me that it is connecting successfully not only that but also give me uh, the output of the client what is the client version I'd like also to tell me the the protocol uh, version using my SQL get protocol info this is my SQL get client info my SQL get proto info to get you the protocol and then also give me the uh, host information 
uh, using also this method mysql uh, get host info and also tell me the server information using mysql get server info all these are built in methods in php that uh, that um, uh, you need to uh, execute uh, the protocol uh, needs the argument which is the variable that stores the connection string and also the server uh, the server needs also the um, uh, the file that stores the connection string which is here this one so let me uh, try to execute this file from dealer dealer shop so here let me put localhost back local host slash dealer shop slash con dot php so when I execute this one will tell me the version the client version the protocol version and also the local host uh, through the TCP IP and also tell me that the version is this version so now I tried one file just to to show me the connection information all right now let me go to uh, to the uh, second step which is I would like to create uh, a file in this dealer shop that creates a database this is a file that create DB file let me just explain some of the syntax in this file uh, this is a PHP file starting here ending here and then this is a variable has been declared to store the connection string uh, I called it DB connect and also I'm using the, the if condition to say if not DB connect the if this is not true die that means give me this error message of course my SQL error will give you the error uh, the error message uh, okay here I am declaring a variable to start uh, to store I mean the a name of the database the name of the database called dealer so I would like to call my database dealer and I'd like to store it here so later on I'm gonna use this in many different places uh, here is an if statement saying if my SQL select DB DB name this 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 DB name here uh, that means if there is a database already existing in the in the server uh, in the MySQL server then tell me that database already exists database and also tell me that name the database dealer dealer already exists otherwise create the database so if there is no database with the same name existing in the server uh, go to the else part what the else part does the else part is all these messages here first um, declare a variable to store to store the the command create database create database uh, database name what is the database name dealer so that means it's going to create dealer and then uh, this um, uh, SQL command will be uh, stored in this variable then this variable is going to be used as an argument for my SQL query always my SQL query is the method that actually executes the statement that that creates the database it, it, it creates the database it creates the table it insert the, the values in the database it updates it deletes it drops it alters everything that we would like to do we have to use my sql query and then pass to it the uh, parameter that stores the command that we would like to perform so once this one has been uh, stored in uh, in this query result then i can also use uh, the statement here uh, so my 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 actual statement can end right here like that with a semicolon just like that and with a semicolon like this this will work of course but here this part 
that I cut let me put it back is if you like to display an error message in case the command does not work you can use or die or die tell me that unable to execute the query for what reason for the error number that has been um, provided by this function by this method you need to pass this uh, db connect uh, which is the connection uh, string variable as an argument to my sql error and also if you like to get the uh, the the message the can you, you can use my sql error the difference between my sql error number and my sql error this one gets you the error number and this one gets you the error message so this one it is optional uh, you need to just put it in case you like to display an error message if the command does not work but if you don't want to display the message you can cut it out and just finish your uh, create database statement right here with a semicolon this is an additional message telling you that the database uh, the successfully created this database what is the database dealer this will happen of course if the dealer is not already created but if the dealer is already created of course it will give you this message here it doesn't go to the else part this is optional usually it is recommended that you close your connection by using my sql underscore close method and pass the connection uh, string variable as an argument to the function uh, to the method but if you would like to remove it, it it works without it no problem with that at all so let me um, save this file here in the dealer shop and its name as you could see here the name is what create db if you like to execute it here uh, right here create db.php it will tell you that successfully created the dealer database if you refresh if refresh now if you refresh because let me check first to see if the database has been created already so you can go to admin here and this will open um, this um, server uh, php my admin server in which you will find dealer here it is it is created all right now what i would like to do is like to create it again create it again by pressing enter again what does it say it says dealer is already exist database dealer already exist so because um in this um, uh, uh, in this part here it actually execute uh, this one because it checks this my sql select db is checked to see if this name already exists using this uh, if statement if my sql select db this uh, method will take the argument which is dealer as uh, as a, a, the database name and then check to see if this is true if this is true that means if this one is already there it has been selected then tell me that database already existing let me try to uh, d delete it I would like to delete it let me delete it and then create it again so I'm gonna drop this one uh, and then so now it's gone and I would like to um, to do it here so now successfully created the dealer database now if I would like to change the database name to a different name let me for example put uh, another name like for example uh, COVID-19 I would like to call this database COVID-19 that's it this is the only change I would like to do in this file and then I would like to check it here and then run it okay successfully created COVID-19 let me check to see if uh, I have to refresh to make sure that this one exists here refresh and database is COVID-19 here it is all right so uh, COVID-19 it is created right here 
All right. So now this is how to create a database using this uh, PHP. Again, connection string, checking to see if the database is there. There is no need for this one, of course. Uh, I can remove all this together and from there, from this file, and there is no problem with that. I'm just putting it here, just uh, if there is any problem with the connection or anything else, then it will give you an error message. Uh, this one is to just uh, give your database a name, uh, and then this variable you use it here in the if statement. Also, this one there is is not needed at all. You can just remove all this part, the highlighted part, and just go straight to create the database. But it is important to put it because if the database it is already there, then it has to give you a message that the database is already existing. Otherwise, it will go to the else part and execute the create database name with uh, with the same name that you specified. Then it will. Uh, it will create that uh, database also this one is optional I told you already that you can remove it if you don't want to get an error message in case the SQL command does not work this is just a message to tell you that the database already created so now if I refresh this one what are you gonna expect I'm gonna expect that uh, COVID-19 database already exists database COVID-19 already exists okay so this is how to create a database I would like to actually create a table in that database. So here I have a database called uh, dealer, this one. I would like to create a table. Now it is empty. As you can see, there is zero here. That means there is no table uh, on this uh, database. So I would like to create uh, create create a table uh, here in this uh, dealer shop. I would like to show you the code for that. Here. The first part is the same as previous. I didn't change anything, and I think you understand it, right? And uh, which is connection string, and checking to see if there is error. If there is no error, go and uh, and go to this part, uh, which is uh, specify the the database. So the, as the database I would like to select is called dealer. I would like to create a table right here. Then. I would like to use this uh, database name as an argument for my SQL select database method. Why? Because I would like to check to see if there is a table with the same name existing in the same database. Otherwise, if it is existing there, then it will tell me that the, the file already exists. Otherwise, otherwise, it will create it. So, here I would like to uh, create a table called cars cars put it between quotation the variable that hold this name is called db table all right then this is variable is uh, storing this select statement select all from uh, db table so if there is a table already there then of course uh, it will execute this if statement that um, is trying to is trying to execute this uh, SQL string that hold this uh, uh, select statement and then if this uh, variable which actually uh, the variable that execute the select statement here by the help of my SQL query uh, method as I explained uh, before uh, then it will tell you that if this is true that means if this one works if there is a selection if there is values if there are columns then tell me that the database with this name which name this name cars already exist but if it is not there then create it create it how assign the same variable that this variable that you already used to select all from the table assign it to the create table statement the create table statement like this create table cars with win number as one column uh, varchar 2 or varchar 12 uh, size of 12 characters is primary key it is so important that you put a primary key for one of the fields so that you don't have to create the same record again another column make with varchar 17 
17 uh, characters then model var chart 23 and then year this year is integer so my variable uh, my my um, my table contains vin number uh, make model and year with their data type and data size and this one is a primary key this is just uh, a statement to create a table and uh, this one will execute the previous statement what is the previous statement this one so you have to actually use the variable that stores this uh, SQL command use it as an argument to my SQL query this is the most important method in PHP as you see it here and also you see it here it is a query that actually executes the statement it makes the statement happens um, so execute it or die that means either execute it either create the table or give me an error message tell me that unable to execute the query for what reason for any error number that you would like to provide or any er error uh, message that you would like to to or to provide by the way these dots these dots are concatenating this uh, message this message here concatenating this message to this error code concatenated to this um, error number concatenated to this uh, method with the error message so everything here this dot you see them they are concatenation that means they are merging they're joining those statements together okay because the statement is actually if you put uh, this one in one line it shows like that okay like this so it's all concatenation let me make this one smaller so that you can see the entire line uh, if uh, if you can see it here uh, yeah this is this is the line actually okay uh, so this is the error message unable to to execute query this is you can change it you can you, you write it yourself but uh, also this one error code you write it yourself it is just a message but error number is a method that will be displayed by whatever reason as why this statement is not working and also the error number or the error message here right here anyway once the statement is executed and there is no error here then it will give you the successfully created uh, database table which table this dollar db table which is already declared here with this uh, name cars uh, this is optional it is always recommended to close the connection by using my sql close and pass it the connection string here pass it here as an argument so let me create that uh, that uh, table uh, because as i told you that here this dealer there is no any table right here so what is the file name it is called create uh, tbl create table dot php here it is now it says successfully created the cars table i can check here by refreshing this one refreshing cars where is database here database cars where is dealer dealer in dealer i have cars here it is you like to see the uh, the structure of the table here it is as you could see this is VIN number make model and year VIN number of the primary key you see that it is a primary key here with this uh, underline this is a primary key and if I would like to execute this one one more time what are you expecting table cars already exist because as I told you before in this uh, file you will see that this message that uh, if this uh, true if this one true if uh, query result which hold the select statement if it happens that there is a selection statement that returns true then tell me that the table already exists but because the table already existing it give me this one first time I executed uh, this one returns false 
that's why it went to the create table statement but second time executed this uh, this statement returns true so it executed this one uh, instead so now I have a database table here it is but it's empty now there is nothing inside see if I click browse nothing this one uh, provides zero result nothing there is zero rows in this table but I would like to create to insert um, I would like to insert uh, a row one row so let me uh, show you the statement to insert one row this is a file a small one uh, let me just make it bigger for you to see the code better here it is uh, the first part it is repeated it is repeated this part all this part is repeated guys why because I'm always trying to establish connection right always establish connection like this one and then I'm always trying to to use this if statement to see if this connect is true if it doesn't connect I mean this is of course not if not dollar DB connect that means if there is no connection give me this uh, uh, this uh, error uh, uh, error message by using the die function otherwise I mean if the connection is good everything is, is fine then move on to select this uh, dealer uh, database by using my SQL select DB my SQL select DB is a method that you use to specify a specific uh, object in the my SQL whether a database or a table or anything else uh, once you select this um, database then uh, you have to create a variable that stores the insert statement the insert statement insert into cars the cars is already created insert into it values these are the values I would like to insert I would like to insert the ABC 120 in the VIN number and I would like to insert Honda in the MEC and Civic in the model and 2012 in the year so I'd like to insert these four uh, values in the four columns and then this one as I told you will execute the previous statement and in my SQL query I have always uh, uh, I, I always ask my students to focus on this uh, on this method because this method is actually uh, the method that executes or performs the previous SQL statement whether create database or create table or insert or whatever if you pass it if you pass it as an argument the SQL statement that has been stored into this variable then it will execute it all right it will execute it then this part I already did talk about it many times I said it is optional but you can include it if you have an error then you can pass this connection and string to it to get to to get an error and this one also is an additional statement telling me that row insert is successfully of course if there are, if there is an error it will give you the error number but if the, if there is no error it will insert the value in the table and then tell you that this row is inserted successfully always this one is optional but it is recommended to have it um, then insert row insert row let me execute it here insert row dot php here it is row inserted successfully what happens if I would like to insert the same row again I mean execute the same the same file again I'm expecting that since this row has been created was uh, I mean this column here in this table has been created with a primary key like that so that it will not accept the same VIN number so I'm expecting that it will give me an error uh, message by this uh, error number by this by this uh, method and error message by this so let me try and and uh, refresh reload again okay unable to execute query this unable to execute query 
because here in this uh, create uh, table I have unable to execute query here I put it I can put a different thing I can put anything that I would like but I put an unable to execute query why I'd like to see why because it says there is an error number 1062 for those who are trying to read the manuals for my sequel they will go there and search for what is error code 1062 but simply error code 1062 is duplicate entry for ABC 124 key primary key that means here in the table that uh, let me browse again and uh, now when I browse I will see one one row inserted which is this row here so ABC 120 is a primary key that's why it cannot be inserted again that is a story but if I have a different one if I have for example in this uh, um, in this table let me go to the insert row table let me just put uh, one uh, 42 with uh, um, for example Ford Ford Explorer and this is two, 210 for example it will accept it why because I have changed the this uh, primary key so let me do it again here it is says row insert it successfully and it's true because now if I refresh I'm gonna see another record here uh, with this information that I inserted here it is this is the information that I have just uh, inserted and so on but I mean in my SQL it is uh, strongly recommended that you try to upload uh, data uh, as a group of data instead of inserting them one by one because you know that in graphical user interface I can click insert here uh, in uh, insert statement and I can click uh, uh, insert and insert uh, rows into here insert I can click insert and then insert uh, this uh, values two two at a time this one and this one and then two at a time and then two at a time and so on but it is recommended that um, you upload um, a group of data into the file a group of data that looks like uh, like a text file okay. if you store information in a text file for example this information here in uh, let me just show you this text file is text file just a text file in which I actually have this um, information separated with uh, with commas obviously the first one is for VIN number the second one is for the make the second the third one for model and the last one for the year so I have this data separated uh, by commas row row after an I mean a line after another you can have as much as you as you as you ha as you can okay so I would like to upload all this information into this table here I can use uh, PHP to do that with the help of a file uh, PHP file I have an example here for this file and this file is called uh, load cars let me show you the file the file is starting like any other PHP file that you have done so far and then also the same statement that you have seen earlier which is accepting uh, this uh, uh, to this MySQL uh, select query the the dealer the dealer database the two arguments here the dealer and the connection connection string as an argument to my sql select db uh, db then there is a command load data local in file you use lo load data local in file with uh, the whole path name where the file exists the file exists where the file exists here in this c exam HT Docs dealer shop this one okay so this one I need to put it here see exam HT Docs dealer actually dealer shop so let me change this folder dealer shop 
and the file is the text file you have to put it with its extension cars info .txt. so if it is actually a text file like this one it is text file you have to put dot txt if it is a data file you have to put dot dat how you can create a data file you can create a data file with if you saved it like that like cars dot dat dot dat and then you select all files from here and then you save you will find another file called uh, load cars dot dat okay which is a, a, a data file here it says data file but this one is a text file so that's why here you need to leave it as cars info dot txt okay let me start this con uh, this um, command from the beginning i have this variable equal equal what equal the whole thing this one by the way all this one between quotation this is the first quotation and this is the closing quotation so load data local in in file c exam ht docs dealer shop which is the folder where the file exists the file name with its extension load data local in file into table cars into table cars so i would like to upload this information located here in this text file into the table cars field terminated by comma because here the fields in this table are terminated by commas all right commas you see that fields are terminated by commas and um, lines lines terminated by a new line that means uh, these lines that you uh, th this that that you see there and uh, I press enter here and then I type another one information and then press enter and type another information so it's a new line since I have this one new line here then uh, I can say lines terminate uh, terminated by slash n slash n means new line you put this between single quotation and also put the comma between single quotation so this is the code for loading from data into the file store it here in this string as always use this uh, uh, variable that holds the load data uh, command use it as uh, an argument for the MySQL query that executes the database uh, query database uh, statement together with uh, DB connect which is a connection string so both of them uh, use them actually two, uh, two arguments for my SQL query again this one it is for error messages and this one is to tell you that data loaded successfully into tables and this one is an optional close uh, connection so this one will actually upload the whole data into the database I can try it here load cars my file is called load cars dot PHP here it is data loaded successfully into into this uh, cars table let me uh, refresh and just refresh here and you see that all this data the first uh, two I have uh, inserted them individually by uh, the insert uh, row file but from this one down all this has been uploaded to the table using what using that that file uh, the last uh, thing that I would like to do here is to show you how you can update uh, update uh, before update mm -hmm. uh, this is a table info the table info it's a uh, it's a file that written in PHP to show you how you can display the information to in the browser the first part is a connection string and testing for connection and then uh, there is no need for this this one is telling you connected successfully and uh, this is just um, um, a comment saying that get all the data from the uh, from the table from the from the cars table from the cars table all right my sql db it will select uh, the dealer using also the connection string variable 
and this is to select all data from the table and use this one in uh, this this um, variable here to store the select all from cars and put them into this uh, variable or die and display uh, an error message okay if you'd like to display the information use echo here I'm embedding a table uh, with the border 4 pixels using uh, HTML uh, table element border 4 and I'm closing it here right here closing the table and also I'm using TR if you remember from the the HTML uh, create table I have to use uh, TR and TD for the for the elements for the data itself so here I would like to display first the the first uh, header which is uh, the first header with a table header win number and also make and model and here all these are table headers in which you will see them uh, centered and bold that is uh, that is a table a table head then uh, there is a loop statement using while like uh, with the help of my SQL fetch array uh, statement uh, we use while here while dollar row which is a variable that stores the the fetch statement the fetch statement like the, the fetch statement accept the select all uh, from cars uh, variable which is the result using using it as uh, as an argument and then uh, we'll store this in the row because you would like to actually display from the first row to the last row so this one will print out the content of each row into the table and put them each one in a row by itself so it's going to put win number using dollar row which is a variable that has been declared here inside the while statement uh, win number and then another one for make another one for model another one for year and then you close the tr and then you close the table uh, this is a while statement starting from here ending right here while statement and this this is to close your table and this is to close your uh, connection so this is basically table info.php is to display only the information on in the browser using a tabular format so if i uh, I explain if I write this one table info dot php uh, what is it table info what is the table name I need to put it back here and then copy it here all right table info dot php dealership table table info I think I have uh, dealership and then here it is Yes, because this now is existing in dealer shop. So now I can execute it from here. Localhost dealer shop table info dot php and then this is the first uh, uh, header as as you see here, this one here. And yep. and these are this is the table uh, border you see four pixels the first row first column second column third column and this one okay so this is the same information that you have seen them here right guys in the database right here but this is to display them using php file using php file okay the last thing i would like to do is how to update the information in 
the database I'm gonna use a small example here and store it in uh, my dealer shop uh, folder in which I would like to update uh, something so let me select select one of the values to update so this is the first part connection uh, string with uh, checking for connection uh, successfulness and then select the dealer put it as an argument for my SQL select DB my SQL query execute this statement update cars set year equal 2014 we have in number equal ABC 149 okay here is uh, uh, ABC uh, 149 and here is 2004 so I would like to change this to 2004 and make it what and make it uh, uh, make it 2014 so I would like to change the year for this vehicle from 2004 to 2014 which vehicle the vehicle that its VIN number is ABC 149 this one the Nissan Armada I would like to make this one 2014 so here the statement says update cars set year equal 2014 or VIN number equal ABC 149 and then here is uh, just a message to tell you that the table is updated successfully uh, or row uh, updated successfully and this is to close the connection you might have noticed that every time I can give different name for the connection variable so here I called it uh, sometimes I call it dollar link some DB connect sometimes dollar con uh, and so on uh, let me make it with double n con all right connection you see everything is changed to double n so the file now is ready to be executed for um, the the browser uh, what is the file name the file is update tbl so here I'm gonna put update tbl dot php and here row update is successfully I can go there this one when I refresh I will see it 2000 and uh, 14 it is 2014 for Nissan Armada okay so this is basically uh, many uh, files uh, a file to test the connection a file to create a database a file to create a table a file to insert rows single rows and let me remove this one but there is a file to load multiple data data stored in a text file here and then a file to to display information on the browser uh, and then a file to update I would like to uh, save this one uh, put it in a compressed file put it in the blackboard so that you can download it and do similar exercises on them okay all right so I'm gonna stop the video here so that it doesn't get uh, uh, heavy and then I will uh, create another uh, database using similar commands uh, next time.